generosity is God's crazy mathematics. God can do what you cannot do. God can do for you and through you things you never imagined, all right? But you've got to step up. You've got to step up and say, God, okay, I'm afraid, but I'm going to not operate in fear. I'm going to operate in faith. You see, everybody, everybody sitting here right now, when it comes to giving, you are in one of two places. You are either operating in fear and you are tight-fisted, or you are operating in faith and you are open-handed. There is no, there are no two ways about this, all right? And so you've got to decide where you're going to operate. How are you going to operate? Years ago, I was in Africa and I was teaching and a man came up to me and he, I was teaching him Malachi and I was talking about testing God in this area of giving and, and, the, and, the, and the man said, you know, I want to, Brian, he said, I want to explain this verse to you. It says, test me in this, right? in tithes and offerings. Test me in this. See if I will not open the windows of heaven, all right? In other words, inviting God into your financial picture. And, and so he was saying in Africa, Brian, what we do is when a child is two or three, he said, we take him into the jungles and we take him and we, we find a tree and there'll be a tall branch up somewhere. And he said, we'll take that child and that child will take him up the tree and we'll put him on the branch. And then we come down under the branch and then we stand under the branch and tell the child to jump. And that child will say, but daddy, I'm afraid. Daddy, what if you don't catch me? Daddy, what if I get hurt? No, you listen to me. You listen to me. I'm big enough. I'm strong enough. I will catch you. You see that child up in that tree on that branch, they're living in what? Fear, right? And at a certain point, they've got to say, okay, I'm going to move past my fear. I'm going to listen to the voice of my father, and I'm going to listen, and I'm going to trust, and I'm going to push off the tree. <laughs> and that father catches that child and then the child goes daddy let's do it again let's do it again you are big enough you are strong enough here's what I want to say to you there's a whole lot of people in this world living up on their financial tree of fear is God big enough is not God strong enough can he do it yes how are you going to find out push <laughs> push write the check Give the amount of money. How's it going to work out? I don't know. I don't know what your financial future holds, but I know who holds your financial future, <laughs> okay? What are you going to operate in? What you can see and touch and feel? Or are you going to trust in a God who's bigger than who you are? <laughs> the God who owns it all and loans it all. Actually, you've got to make a decision. That woman made a decision. She gave first to Elijah, and then she discovered that God stretched her resources I'm not a prosperity guy. I'm not a name it, claim it, blab it, grab it. <laughs> but I believe this. God is your provider. And when you learn, when you learn, you're not born with this. You've got to learn this. When you learn to trust God, God will move into the picture. And you go, wow, God, you're amazing. And God will do things. God will give you more wisdom than you've ever had with finances. God will give you more guidance than you've ever known with finances. God will creatively provide for you with ways you've never thought when you honor him, when you honor him. But it's your choice.